Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we are going to see problem number 1035, uncrossed lines. First, we'll see the explanation of the problem statement, then the logic and the code. Now let's dive into the solution. So here I have the first example from the Liquid website. So here we are given two input arrays, nums1 and num2. And we need to find a connecting line from an element from num1 and num2 right so we can draw a line if two values are same in my num1 and num2 so here one and one are same so i can draw a straight line so in this case our starting point of the line will be from num1 from this one right we always consider the num1 as the starting point so here one and one are equal so we can draw a straight line here Next, here we have 4 and I can also draw a horizontal line here since we have 4 in num2 as well. And there is also a condition. So here we have 2, right? So here we have 2 in num1 and in num2 also there is 2. So we can draw a line here also. This is also a valid line. But in this case, this line what we are drawing here is intersecting the 4 and 4. Since it intersects the 4 and 4 connection, we should not draw a line here. Right? We cannot draw a horizontal line here. So we will be done with the input array. We have to return 2 since we can draw two connecting lines. So the aim of the problem is to find the maximum number of connecting lines. Right? So to solve this problem, we are going to use a dynamic programming approach. So now we will see how we are going to do this. So initially we will be taking the length of nums1 and length of nums2, right? So here m represents the length of nums1 and n represents length of nums2. Then we have the dynamic programming array with the list of zeros. So we have initialized by taking the minimum between m and n plus 1. So we have taken this particular value to create the dynamic programming array. So in this case, so the minimum between m and n is 3 and plus 1 is 4. So we have four zeros here. So here m and n are both are 3, right? We have only 3 values in both of them. So the minimum between them is 3 only. The reason why we are taking minimum between m and n is that we will be having less space and we will be able to handle all the cases, right? So here we will be writing two for loops. So the first for loop i, where we will be tracking the first input array, the nums1 input array, right? And this loop starts from 1 to m plus 1, right? Where m is the length of the first input array. Then we will be having a variable previous which will be initialized as 0. Then we will be writing the second for loop where it starts from 1 again. So this will be helpful to track the second input array, right? And we will also use the J pointer to update in the dynamic programming array. So inside the second for loop, we will initialize the current maximum seen crossed lines at the start. So we need to look the dynamic programming array and we will use the j index in the dynamic programming array. So here j is 1. So in the first index it is 0. So we will initialize the current maximum seen crossed lines as 0. So now we need to check the two values in the input array. So where we will check the i-1 element. In the first input array so here we will check the i minus 1 in the first input array so i minus 1 in the first input array is 1 right and j minus 1 in the second input array so j is also 1 so minus 1 will be 0th index so in the 0th index in second input array it is 1 so now we need to check whether these two values are equal or not. So when these two values are equal, 
which means I can draw a line. So I will update my jth index in my dynamic programming array as previously seen maximum crossed lines plus one. So here the previously seen maximum lines are zero. So plus one. So this is our first connecting line. So in the jth index in my dynamic programming array, I will update as one. Now I will update my previous pointer that is previously seen maximum connecting line. So here previous will be equal to the current. So now I will update my previous pointer as the current pointer. Since current is zero, it will be zero one. So now our J will be increased to two, right? So now again, I need to update my current pointer that is jth index in my dynamic programming array, which is nothing but zero. So we don't have to do anything here. So now we need to check the i minus one value and j minus one value. So when the values are not equal, we will keep the maximum connecting line seen so far as the answer for the jth index in my dynamic programming array. So we will be taking maximum between the j minus one value in the dynamic programming array. So j is two minus one will be the first index that is one and the current value, right? Since the answer is one here, the maximum between one and zero is one. So jth index of my dynamic programming array will be initialized as one. So we are just initializing the previous DC in connecting maximum lines, right? Since we are updating one here, our current pointer will also be one. Since we are initializing the current pointer as the jth index at the start, right? So since we are changing one, it will be changed as in place. So my current pointer will also become one, right? So then I will update my previous variable as current pointer that is one so now our j will be increased to three then we need to update our current pointer which is nothing but the jth index value that is third index j is three so third index in my dprd is zero so current will be zero now so then we need to check i minus one value in the nums one input array and j minus one value in the num two input array whether they are equal or not so here i minus one is one, j minus one is four. Since both the values are not equal, we just need to keep the previously seen maximum connecting lines. So we just pick the j minus one value from the dynamic programming array, that is one, and the current value, that is current index value, which is nothing but zero. And we need to take maximum between them. So we are going to have one, so that I will be initializing it for the jth index in my DPRA, right? So since we are updating in the jth index in my dynamic programming array, it will change in the current variable as well. Then we will update the previous pointer as my current variable, which is nothing but one again. Then we are done with the second for loop. So we return back to the first for loop. We will increase our i by two. Then we will reset the previous pointer as zero. Then we need to restart the second for loop as well. That is from one to n plus one. So if I keep on doing this, we will end up having the maximum connecting line at the end as two, right? So the time complexity for the problem is order of m into n and space will be minimum between m and n, right? Which we use for the dynamic programming array. That's all the logic is. Now we will see the code. Before we code, if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel, please like and subscribe. This will motivate me to upload more videos in future. Also check out my previous videos and keep supporting guys. So here we are initializing m and n by taking the length of num1 and num2. Then we will swap the num1 and num2 if num2 is greater than num1. Since we need to draw the connecting line, from the first input array, right? So we always keep the first input array as the maximum length array, right? So in order to handle the edge case, 
if the length of the num2 input array is greater than the num1 we are just swapping it and we also swap m and n as well right then we will be creating the dynamic programming array of list of zeros at the start the reason why we are not taking minimum between m and n is that we are already swapping the input arrays right so obviously n will be the minimum length between num1 and num2 right then we will be writing the first for loop to keep track of the input array of num1 then we will be initializing previous as 0 then we will be writing second for loop to track the num2 array right and we will be initializing current variable as the current value in the jth index of dp array then we need to check if the value in num1 and num2 are equal we will update the maximum previously seen connecting line by 1 and we will update that in the jth index of my dp array right else i will update the previously seen maximum connecting lines by taking the maximum between current and j minus 1 value in my dp array then i will update my previous pointer as current pointer then finally i will return the last index in my dp array right that's all the coders now we will run the code as you guys see it's pretty much efficient Thank you guys for watching this video. Please like, share and subscribe. This will motivate me to upload more videos in future. And also check out my previous videos. Keep supporting. Happy learning. Cheers guys.